Hello everyone. Today I am again in front of you because of one very important question that a uh, few people have asked me after watching this video of how to get rid of depression. Uh, they shared with me something really important and maybe that thing is happening in your life as well. What they have mentioned is that they have been doing meditations, they have been rigorously uh, trying to live a mindful life and uh, they, they have a specific routine but still, still they feel that the stress is not leaving their life. Still they feel that they remain anxious. So in this case, uh, when I try to have a little bit of conversation with them, when I try to uh, check on how exactly their mind responds, what is the language they use when they converse with themselves. And what I realized was that they are using a very doubtful language with themselves. And that is why they do the same with others also. And the same gets reciprocated to them. For example, uh, let's say if, if I ask them that uh, uh, how sure are you that the meditation is actually helping you? So they, they say that I hope that it will help me. If I ask them that how much you are committed in changing your life situation by taking charge of your life. So the answer I generally hear is mm, I will try. So. Pay attention to this language. Maybe you are also using the same language or maybe similar language with yourself in various situations of your life where you are not getting the desired outcomes. So think about it. You know what we speak, it actually creates the reality in our life. So I request all of you today, I urge all of you today to please remove all the doubtful words and statements from your vocabulary, from your conversations, even from those conversations that you are doing with yourself. I don't want you to use any doubtful language for yourself. Use very certain, committed and confident language. For example, instead of saying I will try, do say that I will do it. I'm going to do it, right? This, this sounds more confident. This will bring in the confidence in you. And this will also help you in handling various situations that otherwise you are not willing to face. So with this, try using the confident language, certain, very committed language in your conversations with yourself as well, with others as well. And let me know how it makes a difference in your life and in your situations. Always remember, little things, bigger impacts.